morning to another edition of the morning show. Yes. <laughs> and Renee says good morning. Good morning, good morning, Renee. And Carrie says good morning, hump day. Yeah. Yes. Good morning, Carrie. <laughs> so close. Yeah, yeah. So far. Yeah. Huh? Pretty much. Oh. Oh, good morning, guys. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of our videos. We oh. really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, we morning do. Morning, Mr. Westford, David Burbers, and only for those of you that have no idea what is going on this morning, this is Morning Cup. Yes, it is. Page Arizona's best and only morning show. <laughs> and this is not the news for those of you that are wondering. No. This show is for the different purposes only. The news is at nighttime. Yes, it is. <laughs> Jerry says good morning. Good morning, Jerry. Good, good morning, Jerry. You. And Stephen says good morning. Good, good morning, morning, Stephen. <laughs> hey, man, we and see you guys on there. We haven't seen any thumbs up. Ah, <laughs> I see what's going and, on out there. And, 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 and you need to clean your monitor. Why? Because I'm wearing a color that I was not too sure about. Okay. And your monitor has something on it. And so I was figuring because of how I was wrinkled. Uh -huh. you that I was, was that? disappearing. That's why I did this. <laughs> well, at least it's not in you know the uh, military camo again. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That Active camouflage can be fun when you intend it. Although sometimes it's funny when you don't do it. Uh, uh, yeah. Pretty much. It's hard to say. <laughs> it depends on the day. Oh, our uh, internet uh, is going to plan. And 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 we do have an emoji. Oh, there's an emoji going. going. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're going to have to monitor this on your phone because yeah, our internet is going up and down, guys. We do apologize. Hopefully, our voices are coming through. Oh, more than likely. Oh, man. <laughs> oh right. but we are, right. we are bouncing around. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's one of those days, you know. It is. It you is. never know what you're going to get. And when the internet goes to plaid. <sighs> oh, we become Max Headroom. Yeah, pretty much. Max Headroom is in the house. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, it's so annoying. Oh, well. It is makes me want to pull out what little hair I have left. Uh, oh, Lord almighty. Ah! You haven't really started going bald yet. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, oh, yet? Oh, oh. Why, why are you saying yet? You're worrying me, Lois. Oh, well, I don't know your family history. Uh, let's see. Steven says, uh, Sarah said good morning. Good morning, good morning Sarah. Sarah. Good to see you. Make sure you give an extra like for Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see. We have Renee says, uh, see and hear you. That's good. Yay. Hopefully we're not too Max head for me. Yeah. That, <laughs> So frustrating. It is. It is. When I look over and I see the plant, what, what are you staring at? <laughs> what, what? I'm staring at your hair because now you hair? brought it up. Oh man! <laughs> is it time to cut it all messed up again? Uh, yes. <laughs> One of these days I'm just gonna go out a straight right on. Yeah. Oh no. Just for fun. I wear a hat anyway. So. What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. I tell you what, man. I tell you what. It's. Um, Mm. No. So the, today, the uh, Homestead Studio TARDIS is located at the dam. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I figured, you know what, since the government is shut down, and apparently all hell is breaking loose across the country, that we would uh, sit on top of the Carl Hayden Visitor Center, and uh, they wouldn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. You'll never uh, catch us up here. Oh, Lord. What? Oh, goodness. Hey, what's <laughs> Uh, we we actually went down there. Uh, well, I, I went down there. Uh, I, say I didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, you were here. But uh, we went down, to, or I went down to uh, the Glen Canyon uh, Dam and the bridge yesterday, and it was amazing. It was so cool because it was snowing up in Page. It was kind of raining down there, but there was a huge waterfall shooting out into the canyon, and it was just nice. It, it was pretty. I mean, it was a little chilly out, and it was a little wet, but it was really cool because there was, like, nobody out there, so it was really peaceful, really quiet, and you just hear the pitter-patter of rain, and my voice broadcasting live, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, looks goodness. Oh, like we got a bunch of stuff flying through here. What do we got? <laughs> Carrie uh, says, yesterday I thought I was at the beginning of the show, and to my surprise, you all were signing off. Ruined my whole day. Aww. Oh, Sorry, oh, Carrie. That's terrible. But at least you were able to watch it, yeah, rewatch it. Yeah. Yes. And Jerry says, my uncle always talks about the damn bar and grill. He plays trivia there. Nice. Well, there you go. Yeah, the, the damn bar and grill. Been, you know, I've been in Page for a while. I know exactly what you're talking yep. about. I've eaten there once. <laughs> Did you? Did we? I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, once. Uh. <laughs> One of the pricier places. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, you were you were talking about they had at one point a Jim Bean burger or something like that. That wasn't was that? No, yeah, that, wasn't that was. It wasn't them. That wasn't them. 
You were trying to figure out which one it was, and yeah, you and thought it, it was there. there, and no. so we went there. No, I know exactly where it was. <laughs> it was over at State 48. Oh, okay. It was when they first opened up, and I got a Jim Beam burger, and, and, and apparently they forgot it until the very end, and that's when they threw the shot on. Woo! I tell you what, that's some potent burger right there. I tell you, mm. damn. Yeah, I was like, you know, because I'm, I'm expecting, you know, some flavor and stuff. I, I took a bite and I was like, whoo! Don't eat and drive. Yeah, pretty much. I tell you what, the alcohol definitely didn't have time to cook off on that but, but that was a long time. It was when they first opened, so I think they were still working out some of the kinks. But damn. <laughs> that uh, they do still have my favorite fries in town, though. Uh, uh, the damn bar? No. Oh no, we're, we, we moved over to State Forty Eight. Oh, okay. yeah, State Forty Eight. They've got. I think it's called State Forty Eight Fries. I don't know, but it's got some kind of like garlicky Parmigiani thing that goes on. Very tasty. <laughs> very tasty. I, I enjoy it very much. <laughs> very good. Um, and, and as a matter of fact, um, we have some people in town visiting. We'll talk about here in just a minute. But yes. I told them to go there last night. But I forgot they closed on Tuesday, so yeah, yeah, that's their Oops. delivery and stocking and yeah, all, all all that type of day. Kind of a weird day of the week to do it, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Michael is saying good morning. Come good on, morning, Michael. Michael. <laughs> good to see you. So yeah, it was interesting, and uh, the waterfall was really cool. I, I wasn't really expecting a waterfall out there. I just went down because I wanted to see uh, Paige. And Paige was shrouded in fog and snow, and then when you got down towards where the dam was, it was it was cleared out, so you could look up and see. Were it. you hoping that we were gonna be stuck in a fog cap again? Yes, <laughs> that was cool, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was amazing. I love that. Oh, yeah, for those of you that don't know, a few years ago we had we had a, a, an inversion that happened on Paige, and for a month straight we had really really dense fog. Just right here in Page. It was amazing. <laughs> it was so cool. You got a few miles outside of town, it was gone. And it would just say, here, we made the national news headlines because of it. That's amazing. It was really cool. And Page normally doesn't do that. Yeah, well, except for our horseshoe bin stuff. Oh, well, yeah. But <laughs> people don't... Yeah. Not yeah. yet. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we got more comments. Oh, oh do we? Way. Oh. Yes, we do. Yeah, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Terry says, uh, the morning show is just as addictive as that trivia game. Just gotta interact. Ah. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Right. And Mary says, "Good morning, come on, Mary. Mary. Good to see you." And Renee says, "The deep fried artichoke hearts are amazing." Uh, yes. Yeah. We had yeah. those once. Yeah, we did. We yeah, did. That they was, were really good. There needs to be more of them. <laughs> because it, are you, know, you saying that the, that yeah. instead of an appetizer, they need to make it a meal? A meal. Yes, and oh, bo okay. bottomless. <laughs> Just saying, because <laughs> it, it's not fair that you get you have to eat them, and it's just like, oh, uh -huh, I'm tired, and then they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, I need more. And then you like look at the price, and you're like, never mind. But I want more. <laughs> more. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I love them. Oh. Man, now I'm hungry. <laughs> it's your fault. It's not my fault. Uh, how did we get on this topic? <laughs> it's your fault. I don't even know how we got here. <laughs> Somebody was talking about the damn bar. It's your fault. <laughs> it is totally whoever was talking about that bar right there. That's epic. Carrie says with ranch, right? Yeah. I think is that what it comes with? I, I don't remember, but don't it's know. really good. It's tasty. I don't care what it is. It, it, it's good. <laughs> and there needs to be more of them. Darn it! I tell you what, man. Yeah, that's it. That, that currently that is probably my favorite place in town um, for 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 a burger. Yeah. But it, but it's a very once in a while thing. Yeah. But eh, what do you do? Pretty much. Yeah. You save up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Sorry. Your favorite place in town is uh, is what the Blue Buddha, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. She, she I, likes I like the sushi. sushi. The sushi. Yeah. Because you're weird. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but you already knew this. I don't like fish. Having it raw is even worse, man. But at least they have non-fish and non-sushi items. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's you all right. Still, you still have issues with yeah. it. I, 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 oh. I, I, I still want to go there. But, but no. I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, it, it it is it is tasty, but you know, it's, I I would rather go have a nice big burger. You remind me of Gollum when we go to that place, man, because you're eating the fish. 
Oh, and that's just you. Yes, my precious. That's just gross. Nom, 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 nom. Nope. <laughs> what? At least it's not a lie. <coughs> this number is Number one. And number two, it's not the whole fish. <laughs> uh, Renee says, I completely agree, Chris. I don't even know which one, but awesome. Probably the artichoke it hearts being right. bottomless. I know. <laughs> now we're back on the artichoke. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Oh, man, we got to oh move off goodness. the food subject. Hey, yeah, we I do. can't do it. No more food. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm worried. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Um, and and Dave Dave has a comment for oh, you. Dave says, uh, the sushi is great, and Joe is an amazing bartender. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, for those of you that do like sushi, good on you. I don't. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just saying. No. I never have, and I never will like the sushi. I don't like them. But he fails to mention this at, at, at certain times. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, many. So, so let, let me let me set the scene up for you, shall we? Hold on, we have some more comments. It looks like here. Uh, Stephen says, uh, "My daughter Madison said to tell you good morning." Good morning, good morning Madison. Madison. And Renee says, uh, "State forty-eight, yeah, yeah it, it is. I like it. It's, it's good stuff." Okay, so so let me set the scene for you. This is many, 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 many years ago. Yes, it was <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Back when I had just met uh, Lois, <clears throat> and uh, she was really excited. You know, we were we were doing the the dating thing a long time ago. Uh, yeah, a very long time ago. And she had this brilliant idea. I was down south in the bad part of the state. And for those of you that live down south and don't agree with me, tough it. I'm just saying. <laughs> you live in the wrong half. But anyway, so we were, we were down south and, and uh, you know, you decided that we were just going to go out and, and have some dinner. Uh-huh. And you had this brilliant It was our idea. first date, by the way. Yeah. Our, our first true yeah, and she knew the and she knew the area, so she got to pick the restaurant, you know, mm -hmm. because and she's like, oh, I have this, my favorite place, and 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 so we went, and this this place was a, a a sushi place. Yes, a sushi place. Would you like to fill in the rest there, Lois? You failed to tell me that you don't like fish and sushi. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimately, what I did not that. fail to tell you. I just didn't because right. you were excited and it you was something that you wanted to, to do. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I will just <laughs> suck it up because I, you know, I was like, well, it's your favorite place, so I'm not going to ruin this. So I ate sushi, and so you can't be like, oh, you just have to try it and you like it. Uh -uh. No, not how that works, man. Not how that works. So I was over there trying to gag down the sushi. I'm like, and she's like, do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, a tip to all all you people out there, be honest when you're on a date. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> but I didn't want to And then it. years later, I find, I find out you don't like fish. I, you know what? The, <laughs> my, my favorite part was, though, is that you found out, and then your mind slowly backtracked, and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> You don't like sushi or right. fish, and you're like, wait, our first date was, was it a sushi? And I was like, uh huh. She's like, you didn't like that? I was like, hell no. <laughs> that was nasty. I was like, oh my god, because she thought the whole time <laughs> that it was that I liked it, and it was horrible. <sighs> horrible. Um, I was just trying be to be honest. Nice. Uh, be honest. Be honest. <laughs> I understand I wanting to <laughs> impress your date. But be honest, or else you end up being tortured. Well, you know what? I, I'm good at taking the torture, though. That's all I'm saying. I'm good at taking the torture. Just, oh, my goodness. Renee says, I'm allergic to aquatic life that people normally eat. What about That's stuff that good. people normally don't eat? And, and what aquatic life do people normally don't eat? Well, I mean, there's stuff that's rarer to eat, you know, like uh, puffer fish, uh, sea cucumbers, you know, things like that. <laughs> I don't know. I I actually have never in my life had pufferfish. Yeah, well, it's very I, I, dangerous I and very expensive. Uh huh. That, that the, the 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 very dangerous is is why. Um, <laughs> I 
I do not want to die from pufferfish poisoning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, especially with I've your seen... luck with like romaine. I mean, come on. Yeah, I, I've, I've, what was it? I, uh, the Simpsons episode oh. where that happened. <laughs> yeah, that's nope. funny. So based <laughs> off of a cartoon, she's staying away. Uh, from yeah, it. no, no, and 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 uh, knowledge of said said reactions. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Dave no. says your whole relationship was built on a lie. No, it wasn't. It, it wasn't. I had one goal in mind back then. <laughs> And I was working towards that mission. <laughs> Just saying. I was going to do what it took. <laughs> Warning, this show is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Everything else he said, he told the truth on. Just yep. that. Mm-mm. Yep. Not that one. Yep. I was like, yeah, she likes it, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Stuff was vile, man. <laughs> Vile, vile, vile. And it's your own fault. <laughs> Dave says, is your name even Chris? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Renee. Renee says that if it comes from the water, I cannot eat it. Aw. Yeah, it's but terrible. if you can't, then you, I mean, you really don't know what you're missing yeah, and all I of that. So. Yeah. See, I just ate it, so. <laughs> but then there's, you know, like like salmon. I love me some salmon, but that's not fish. I, I was going to say, but you don't categorize that as No, fish. it's not a fish. It's a water cow. <laughs> <coughs> water burger right there. <laughs> uh, oh Jerry says, the cool thing is, most places will offer some type of food for every taste. Once I went to a Chinese restaurant and ordered a hamburger. Hmm. The very Chinese uh, waitress said, you come into a Chinese restaurant and order a burger. <laughs> yeah, I, I accented that. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah you um, did. See, I, 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 I do like my Chinese food as well. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's, I, when I go to one of those restaurants that serves different kinds of food, I like getting that kind of food because you can get a burger anywhere. Right, right. So, you know, for me, I, I make sure I go out of the way and get something that's from that so I can try it out because I like trying new things, but I hate sushi. So. See, and, and for me, I'm picky about my Chinese food because mm-hmm. I was spoiled <sighs> as a child. Uh, you and when your it Chinese. Comes to Chinese. Um, and, I mean, to the point where... I, when I was living in Flagstaff, I found a really, really good Chinese restaurant. And what I mean, well, other than their food, mm-hmm. uh, they do an awesome job with their food. Yeah. But they have two menus. Yes, um, they've got normal people menus. They have an American menu, mm-hmm. and then they have a native Chinese menu. Yeah. And I'm always ordering off the native Chinese menu yeah, and, when I go. And she has, we'll get to that in a second, but... Uh, Amy says sea cucumbers just look like a slug. Yuck. Yes, yeah, right there with you. But they're little filters, man. And so it's like eating a turd. Well, <laughs> I don't. I, no. I put that in your cup and yeah. drink it. Oh, man. <laughs> That's just. <coughs> you are just wrong. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, uh, though. Really? Really? You mentioned that, and I'm getting ready to drink coffee. Uh-huh. I got nothing. Right. So anyway, back to the Chinese food thing. <laughs> this woman has got problems. Okay? I do. She, I do. she likes eating the spicy food. And when I say the spicy food, I'm not talking like, oh, that's hot. I'm talking like, you know, this is military-grade napalm. <laughs> you know, if you, like, look at it, your mouth is like, ah, and your skin's like, oh, oh hot. <laughs> And so when you when she orders off of the Chinese menu at the Chinese restaurant, not the American Chinese, but the Chinese Chinese, she's like, ooh, I like some of that hot oil. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? Is it like special? And they're like, no, no, you don't, you don't want hot oil. And she's like, uh-huh. <laughs> and then it comes out and you look at it and it's like looking into the soul of Satan. <laughs> It's about that color, yeah. Yeah, it looks like the eye of Sauron, or <laughs> Sor- yeah, Sauron from uh, the, the Lord of the Rings. It's like, what are you putting in your mouth? <laughs> and, uh, and she dips her food in it, and I can see the, the food. It's like it's partially being digested in the hot chili oil and smoking. It's partially caught on fire. <laughs> and she eats that stuff. I, I, I do, no. I do. It's Bad very stuff. tasty. Amy says, uh, nope, won't eat them, Sam, I am. I yeah. don't blame you. I mean, that right. stuff is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't, I, I am not a seafood person at all, but I will, I, I do, I, I like lobster. I like shrimp. I don't classify those as seafood, you know? I mean, well, sometimes I do. People are like, you like seafood? I'm like, yeah, sure. Because I like lobster and I like shrimp. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, and recently I've gotten to the point where I can actually stomach crab. 
Because, uh, so, as a, as a child, you know, this is where my food dramas come from my childhood. <laughs> I think most of our food troubles come from childhood. My food traumas. Is uh, or, yeah, yeah. Food drama. So, uh, as a young child, I was, uh, I was uh, exposed to crab salad. It, was it that imitation stuff? Yes! And so the, the taste of that imitation stuff and the smell of it makes me nauseous. And all seafood smells like that to me. But apparently, which was unbeknownst to me, you know, back then, but is known to me now, is that that's actually not what seafood it's tastes like. Yeah, no, no. I don't know, it's man. It's and a bunch of other stuff smashed together. It was ground up ickiness. <laughs> I did not like it. <laughs> I did not. I hated that stuff. It's kind of like the Brussels sprout thing. No, you know, it, it tasted gross. Hey, and so yeah. I just assumed all seafood is gross. <laughs> and, you know, for the most part, I was right. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm always Which right. you discovered on our first date. Yeah. Pretty much. I was like, sure. And to man. top things off, to top things off with that date, the appetizer was a seafood salad. <laughs> it was so gross. <laughs> I about died. Hey, man, I was oh, willing to put up with whatever word. it took <laughs> because I got a date with you. So I don't want to hear it. Just saying, man. I was just, just making it work. Just making it work. I did what was necessary. <laughs> oh, Stephen, I'm right there with you. Uh-oh. What does he say? Definitely. So it says, uh, I like seafood. I see food and eat it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Huh? yeah pretty much. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I can go with yeah. that. Yeah. But that, back to that hot oil crap of yours. I tell you what, man. I don't, what is in that stuff? It's you even know? chill. It's... Um, the the chili pepper flakes. Okay. Oh, you mean like uh, the ones like, you put on pizza? Uh huh. Oh, okay. And oil. That's it. And they're infused. But yeah. I thought it was hotter than that. I thought the stuff that you it's got was like they, like special evil or something. No, it's because they they let it soak for yeah. so long, so it accentuates the pepperness <laughs> of the the um, red chili pepper. That's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. Uh huh. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was I was, when I first moved to Arizona, I was. I was down in the valley area, mm -hmm. and I was shocked. Everybody was saying that this one Chinese food restaurant was just the best Chinese food restaurant. Uh, yada, yada, yada. They couldn't say anything but praises for it. <laughs> um, and so I go in, and one, one of the things that I, I really like are, are pot stickers. But, oh, I, I think uh, I yeah. like those, right? It, yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but these things, I kid you not, these things... Were about that big. <laughs> okay? They were a meal unto itself. Hmm. And when I asked for hot oil, they didn't know what I was talking about. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. They gave me, um, uh, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, oh, sriracha sauce. They gave and a, me. And a Chinese food restaurant? Yes. Which one? Well, although, you know, And I was shocked. You know, sriracha, what was it? It comes from, like, the Philippines or something. So. Right, but it was, I asked for hot oil. And that's what they gave and me. And that's what they gave me. That, no, that's not how that works. Mm -mm. No, yeah. and and the thing is, with the with the uh, pot stickers that they made, mm -hmm. they used um, tortilla rather than the, the normal... Even I know, that's not right. Yeah, yeah rather like, than what? the normal dough... Was um, it like a Mexican restaurant trying to pass as a Chinese restaurant? I, I don't know. Like, what the heck? I don't know. I just and, weird. And I, I, one of the the traditional um, dishes that I like is mushu. Uh, that yes, that is an actual dish. Um, and they did. They, yeah, because I was thinking Eddie Murphy. Man. I I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but traditionally, they have a rice patty that you roll. Okay. That you use to roll. Okay. They use tortillas. No. It doesn't work. No. It, but you know what? So Apparently it worked on all of your friends. It because did. they're like, it's it this Chinese food. <laughs> it's but, a Chinese food. Like I said, I was spoiled growing up. You yeah, know, I was going to say, do you want to inform people why you're such a Chinese food snob? Um, <laughs> and when I say that, I literally mean she's a Chinese food snob. It I, has to be the good stuff. I, it does. It does. And it has to be the traditional stuff. Um, and, and it's because my grandfather, well, my mother's side of the family is very, very Jewish. <laughs> Hold on, before we and continue, let's see. Renee says, uh, I was forced to eat a lot of foods that until I was an adult, I wouldn't eat ever again. Yeah, but uh -huh. now some things, some things you eat, yeah, yep, yep. yep. And Dave says, uh, LOL, sriracha is decent ketchup, but not hot enough for pot stickers. <laughs> right there with you. Yeah. Um, but, <coughs> so it started with my grandfather. You know, okay. um, grandpa was traditional Jewish, 
And for some reason, um, at least my family of Jews mm -hmm. love Chinese food. And he would spend a lot of time over in San Francisco okay. and would go into Chinatown ah. and was friends with a lot of the uh, business owners. So he would get the traditional ah. and, and bring it back with him or take us there. So you got spoiled and on the real stuff. I did. I did. And then when um, we moved to where I spent most of my teen years, mm -hmm. I ended up befriending a business owner. And she has a Chinese food restaurant. Right, and right. Uh, over the years, she would, you know, provide me with the traditional stuff as well. And she tried teaching me how to cook, um, it. How to cook it. So That was a bad, uh, bad idea. Well, this was before I went into the military. So we're talking a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> In the galaxy far, far away. Yeah, so all of that I, I have forgotten. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> That's kind of funny. So now, when you know, when you have a Chinese food craving, it's just like, well, you're screwed. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because we're in page. <laughs> no, no. Even I could, you know, because she's like, oh, hey, what about? And like, no. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. what about? No. What about <laughs> hell? No. <laughs> the only thing that I have found here at the Chinese food restaurants I like are the little sesame balls. The little sesame when they have them. <laughs> yeah, when they have them. But it's and, not worth paying it. a full sit-down price <laughs> not. to have a sesame ball. You <laughs> can it is so, not so so yeah because it's it's American Chinese here, yeah. um, which is it, funny because they're actually Chinese. It, it's How not, does it even work? It's not traditional Chinese. No, uh, so now they have like like pancakes or for their uh, for their like uh, what is it the sweet and sour stuff? Is it? I don't know, man. It tastes like it. It's like sugar. <laughs> well, that is sweet and sour. Yeah, but, but I've it, had sweet not, and sour sauce that tastes good. This stuff is it, yeah, like maple it, syrup it's probably over, with like vinegar. Over in it or I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> This stuff creeps me out, man. <laughs> so yes, I, I I was spoiled growing up on on Chinese food, and so now you're basically just hosed. Yeah. Although I, there is yeah. that place in Flagstaff that you yes, like, so. Yes, and and I was excited because that was the first first Chinese food restaurant uh -huh. I have found in the what thirteen plus years that I've lived in Arizona that actually had the second had, menu. It, yes. The the non-American <laughs> Chinese menu. <laughs> You know, I, I honestly, you know, because I know you love it down there, but I, I mean, it was like, eh, it's all right. Yeah, but when you grow up on it and, yeah, and you have sure. good memories about it, you know, it it, it accentuates well, that you know, flavor. So speaking of, of weird uh, ethnic foods and things like that, I remember uh, one time I was in Colorado and uh, my dad took me to this Indian restaurant. We went to this Indian restaurant and I'd never had Indian food before. And, and it wasn't the spicy stuff. I think we had, like, lamb or something. But my absolute favorite part of the whole thing was this, it was this kind of like a, some kind of flatbread. Okay. I can't remember the name of this stuff. And then you dip it in hummus. Mm -hmm. And then you eat it because it has oils. And mm, it's <laughs> so good. And the spices it? and the flavorings were so tasty. I yeah. loved it. But it wasn't like, like you know, because normally, you, you know, you think of, like, curry. And that, that's it, not what was in it. It was mm -mm. good. And, and so, you know, I, I understand what you mean by having authentic. Because these guys, oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely authentic. Oh, yeah. There, <coughs> there's a huge difference between Americanized and, and oh, yeah. authentic. Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah. It, 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 and so it's really nice is. to find that when, you know, when you do find a food that you like that yes. is, you know, of an ethnic thing. And then they don't blend it down for you. Yeah. So. I, I used to work at a restaurant that did that during snowbird season. Oh, boy. It was annoying. Yeah, that, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. I still don't understand how you can how you can do the hot stuff, but I do know somebody that, that could definitely trump you on oh, all. Oh, I don't of the even try stuff. to challenge people. I'm not. Mm -mm. No, I have a brain in between these ears. Well, you, and and no, <laughs> you did one time. See, I, I remember we went to uh, one of one of our Mexican restaurants here. Yes, that we have here in Page, Arizona. Uh huh. And uh, I remember you requesting me like, hey. I do, do you, do you maybe have some of the some of the good salsa in the uh -huh. back? You know the hot stuff, and they're like, At, oh. they're like, oh, oh no, you, you're you're basically you too white for that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And she's like, no, 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 I'll be fine. <laughs> and so they have they have this uh, this stuff that they brought out, and it was this evil color of like green. Uh, no, it wasn't green. It was kind of a green. No. No, 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 the one time that you got the special stuff that almost you couldn't eat, it was but, green. Right, it wasn't green. It was fire orange. 
Oh, that was, okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> Never mind, I was thinking of a different one. Shit. <laughs> it was fire orange. Yeah, apparently it had, what was that? What was it, habaneros uh, in it or something? Uh, no, I think it was ghost. Oh, mm. <laughs> I looked at it, and my eyes started sweating. I was like, mm, I ain't touching it. I am it, not touching it. It was very tasty. It was And she very... put it in her mouth, and she's like, whew, that's good. Yeah. And then she starts sweating. Uh, yep. She's like, oh, that's hot. And I was like, ah. But she ate it anyway. She did. Ate it anyway. Ate it anyway. <laughs> oh ate it anyway. Just now. She just now. Oh, anyway. my goodness. Ate We've anyway. got comments. It's terrible, <laughs> man. Oh. I'm just saying. Uh, oh, Dwayne says non. Yeah, he would know. <laughs> yeah. That stuff is so good. Oh. It is. And then you it get is. the hummus with the oils. Oh, so uh, uh, uh -huh. I need a recipe for that hummus because you know what? I will dip my life in that and eat it. That stuff is amazing. That's a little scary. It's good. <laughs> it's very tasty, man. Uh, Jerry says, uh, "Would the bread was the bread uh, non or lavash?" Uh, as Dwayne said, it was non, and he would know because he was there. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> And uh, Dave says, I think I can relate, Lois. I miss the Vietnamese block in downtown yes, Dallas. Yes. The best pho anywhere. Yeah. What, so okay, I got to ask now, what the heck is pho? I've never had it. Oh. But right. it, but it's one of those where, yeah. You, this, you is the, this is the real stuff. Mm, this is not. Yeah. Um, mm. When I was down in Sierra Vista, actually, there was um, a, a Korean restaurant. Mm -hmm. And it was authentic Korean. They did not adjust anything. They did not Americanize it. And, uh, oh, my goodness, that food is so good. Is I don't know oh, if yeah. I've ever had Vietnamese food. I've never had Vietnamese food. <coughs> no. um, Where did you just I said Korean. Oh, Korean. All right. Sure. So, so it is, yes, it is the, the this is authentic. And nice. you can tell once you've had authentic. Yeah, when you get um, the fake stuff, it's like, that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know, I have had lots and lots of different ethnic foods in my life. And, you know, there's some things I like, some things I don't. One of the worst that I've ever had in my life was introduced to me by you. What would that be? That freaking cracker of death. What oh. was that stuff? That stuff is nasty. <laughs> That's because you it didn't was, listen to the instructions. It's gross, man. What was that stuff called? <laughs> you know, it's authentic, authentic Jewish cracker. What the heck was that it's thing? It's because you did not. You ignored me telling you. How you had, what you had to do to be able to eat this. I thought it was, it was a cracker. I thought I was safe. I was wrong. It's I was matzo. Wrong. Matzo cracker. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness, man. I'd rather eat a cardboard box. <laughs> At least it had better flavor. That stuff was gross. I told you, to be able to eat this, you have to put butter mm -hmm. on it and salt. I put butter on it. I thought I was going to be fine. I was wrong. There's no salt in that stuff, man. <laughs> And I, when I say no salt, I mean like I bit on it, it sucked the salt from my body into the cracker. It was so, it was like, yeah, it was so nasty. Oh. <laughs> and now, anytime I see him, I'm like, ah, get it away, <laughs> get it away. Oh. This stuff is horrible, man. Oh my goodness. It's, it's so because nasty. you did not follow the instructions. Ah. You thought you knew better. It's a cracker. <laughs> I thought it was, I mean, it's a cracker. I figured it's a cracker, I would be safe. <laughs> Don't do it, man. If she said salt and butter, man, when, when she says salt, I mean, we've got to dip that stuff in there, man. No, that's too much. No, no it's not. <laughs> uh, Dave says it's a soup and it's pronounced, pronounced pho. Oh, I, I assumed it was pho because uh, yeah. there was an oh. <laughs> no, it's pho. All right, pho. You know what that reminds me? At Walmart. Oh, my goodness. There's a brand. Oh, oh, <laughs> I know where you're going with this. There's a brand down at Walmart that I laugh my butt off every time I see. It's spelled F-U-D, so, you know, food. <laughs> yeah, it's got the little dots over the U. Yeah, but I always call it, I always call it FUD. <laughs> he does. It's FUD. It's Look, fud. there's more FUD. <laughs> <laughs> it's FUD. You, you'd have to be there. It's funny. Uh, Dave says, uh, best place there was, fucking. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I see what you did there, Dave. Yeah. I see what you did there. <laughs> Thanks for the pronunciation and that. You know, I feel like I'm in a Simpsons episode here. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, David says uh, green Tabasco is the seasoning of the gods. I love that stuff. Uh, green Tabasco is very good. I like that. You know, and, and th sometimes the, it's a little too vinegary for me, but I don't know. There's something about it. I just like it. <laughs> it's very tasty. Uh, Carrie says, uh, totally unrelated... 
I was oh, looking no. up. Oh no! Hold, hold on, let me get to the rest of this stuff and see. Okay, that was that. All right, Carrie says totally unrelated. I was looking up dumb laws. Did you know in Maricopa County it is illegal for more than six girls to live in the same house? Yes, yes. I did. We did. <laughs> We're not getting into that. Behave yourself. Any of show is for entertainment purposes only. We are talking about ethnic food at the moment. And, yes. <laughs> and apparently getting tricked by Dave. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Carrie's got another one. I, I actually uh-huh. looked these up. So, uh, uh, yeah. Diana says uh, there is one in Colorado. Oh, for oh, the... Oh, for the... <laughs> yeah, huh? For the, for the restaurant. Yeah, uh-huh. And Carrie says uh, state law prohibits donkeys from sleeping in bathtubs. There's... Yeah. States have some of the weirdest darn laws, man. I tell you what. there were reasons at the time. Yeah, which is funny because usually they only make laws because, like, at, at some point... It's like warning labels. If you see a warning label, at some point that has happened. And warning, there's still... <laughs> 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 Thank you, <Lord. laughs> I'm just saying, that's the way the laws work. They wouldn't have it if it, it wasn't a problem at some point and somebody did it. And, and that, like in, in, in uh, what is it, in, in Florida, <laughs> Florida, go figure, right? But in Florida, they have, they have a law like you're not allowed to chain your alligator to a fire hydrant. That's a law in the books. Apparently, at some point, there was an alligator chained to a freaking fire hydrant and they could not get to the fire hydrant to put out the fire because there was an alligator there. So they had to make a law because somebody was stupid and put their pet gator on a leash on a fire hydrant. I mean, I didn't even know that was a thing. It's just one of those, like, home. <laughs> so many levels. I know, I know. I just, no. <laughs> uh, let's see, Carrie says hunting camels in Arizona yes, is it illegal. Is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm... Um, that's how Camelback Mountain got its name. <sighs> I don't know that one. I do not yep. know that one. Yeah, apparently, the carries theory, on on weird law time. The theory is is that there are camels roaming in the Arizona desert near Camelback Mountain. What? We don't have camels in Arizona unless they're imported. Just saying. Oh my goodness! So you basically what you're telling me is people thought one thing, and so then they just made it illegal because they thought. Pro- uh, probably. Whoa. Oh no! Don't start. Oh, yeah. You'll get the dog out. Get all riled up. Wow! <laughs> How really? Pretty are much. You, are you yeah. serious? I said the theory. Oh, the theory. Goodness. I don't even know how to say that. That's a dumb. Yeah, them Arizona camels. Yeah. I thought Camelback Mountain was oh, named Camelback oh. because it looked like a camel hump. That, that too. I mean, come on. That um, at least makes sense. Hold on, we got more stuff. Oh, Carrie says, uh, so you know that owning more than two personal devices in one house is also illegal? Not going down that Not road. going down. You behave yourself, Missy. I know where Not you're going, going here. You, that. Sh- <laughs> oh, no. Oh, is there more? Oh, what happened? no. Are we lagging out? I, 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 think, I think you already did that, Dave. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, there we go. Dave says, uh, that's my life goal. I want a law or sign made because of something I did that makes people think, I really need to know the story behind that. What the heck? Yeah. I, I think you are. I was going to say, I already happen to know for a fact that there's been some legislative changes due to some things, which is epic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we are so sorry, Carrie. <laughs> oh, what happened? Uh, Carrie says, y'all were making me hungry. I'm on a diet. Aww. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry, Carrie. So she had to derail the conversation. Yeah, yeah she did. Right. She did. All right, but we're not <laughs> going into personal <laughs> devices. No, we're not. Yeah, you know, <laughs> some, of the, some of the, well, some. There's a lot of laws on the book that is like, that's not even enforceable. What the bleeping, bloppity boop are you talking? I was like, you can only do this in your house. It's my house. Piss off. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, it's like, what, what are you going to do? Come in and examine it? I don't think so. Mm, not happening. Oh, Dave says it got removed. Oh, well, I mean, at least it was there for a time then. It, it was. Just saying. <laughs> I was there, man. We saw it. <laughs> oh. Wait, what's going on there? Like? My nose is itching. <clears throat> it feels like I'm getting ready to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry it got removed. I, I didn't realize it. I had, it had, it, had it been removed? I, it, I, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It, 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 I, I believe it did. Although that um, was a pretty significant accomplishment. It, it was. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Carrie says subject change. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, we're, yeah. We've changed the subject from the yummies. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I don't know, man. Um, no, I'm craving Chinese food. Oh, yeah. Great. 
We're not going to Flagstaff, Lois. No, we got crap to I do. go through this every couple of months anyway. Oh, she goes like, through uh, Chinese food withdrawal. I do. She's like, I gotta get a fix. <laughs> and I'm like, well, the best you're gonna get is one of them little packs of something that's safe for Yeah, it just it's not it doesn't same. work. No. <laughs> I tried so making you hot oil one time. It, you did, it and work. it was it was you well, don't like it. it's because the the peppers were old. Yeah, they were stale. Yeah. Yeah, it was really shot though. It was. And yeah, I, I put it. peanut oil in a thing and then jammed it full of those, but the but the pepper was, was um which we got stale. So what oh, do we have more comments, Lois? Huh? What? That is so weird, Carrie. I hadn't heard of that uh, one. Uh let's see. <laughs> Carrie says, uh committing a misdemeanor while wearing a red mask is a felony. I have to look that one up. That's interesting. Yeah, that one's interesting. Maybe they think it's a vigilante thing. I don't know. Oh, I wonder if it goes back to the cowboy days, the 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 true oh, cowboys. Oh, you're like the bad guys with their, their red bandana. Wasn't or that their color, it, it, or something like that? If if it was, if they were wearing a red bandana, they were. Why would you do that if you were a criminal to make everybody know that you were? A criminal? I mean, that I'm, doesn't make any sense. I'm talking the 1800s, dude. Yeah, people weren't that dumb back then. <laughs> if you were a bad guy, you wouldn't put up a sign that says, Hey, look at me, I'm a bad guy. You want to blend in until you're ready to do your stuff. It's not Just like saying. the movies, man. Just saying. If it was, Clint Eastwood would have killed all of the bad guys. <laughs> Just <laughs> saying. I mean, come on. <gasps> ah, ah, ah. Nothing like oh a nice my goodness. piece of hair. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do have some stupid, well, a lot of stupid criminals nowadays. Oh, you want to jump onto that already? Right. Well, we're yeah, talking we're about criminals. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, right, and, fine, and right. people. What you got, Lois? Oh, what you got? scroll down. Oh, oh wait, boy. no, 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 no. Um, where is it? I have no idea. Uh, and here we go. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, it is listed in criminals. Sorry. What is? Uh, go down. Go, go, scroll down. All right, thank you, because I have ah. no idea what the hell you're talking about. All right. Um, so, let's see, just the headline. Very last one. Yeah, just the headline. Oh, okay. Just the headline. Your stuff is in my way, Lois. Tough nuggets. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. All right. Oh, yes. We were talking about this. I couldn't believe we forgot it yesterday. This is amazing. All right. So, for those of you guys out there that, you know, we've, we've talked about a few things, this will definitely uh, strike a chord with you. And the, this is Florida. So that explains a few things. Just oh, saying. I didn't even realize it was Florida. Yeah, I got another Florida. Florida one. Oh, well, I'll have to roll so in that one. Freaking Florida. <laughs> Florida. I don't know. You know, between California and Florida, it's like, whoa, what's going on over there? But anyway, here's the headline for you guys. Florida man threatens to kill his neighbor with kindness. The name of his machete, police say. Apparently somebody was getting a little too much walking dead in. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you got Lucille. This guy has a machete named Kindness. <laughs> that is amazing. So good on you, Mr. Florida Man, with the machete named <laughs> Kindness. I mean, what is... <laughs> that is... You know what? That's got to be... It, it, that's just hilarious. I, I don't even know what to say there. <laughs> he threatened to kill his neighbor with Kindness, which ended up being the name of his machete. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I hope it was monogrammed on the darn thing. Or it actually said, like, you know, like, Kindness. kindness. <laughs> like, etched into the blade or something. Because that would be hilarious. <laughs> I'd be dying, man. Oh, no. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, David says, uh, oh, tie a red banana around the yucca tree. Okay, all right. And uh, Carrie says, in Tombstone, if you're over 18, you cannot be missing less than one tooth visible while smiling. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, oh, back to uh, kindness, know. the machete. I, I just, I mean, come on. Is he watching too much Walking Dead, or is he this clever? Looking at his mugshot, I'm not going too with the latter. Too much Walking Dead. Yeah, too much <laughs> Walking Dead. Yeah, there's no originality going on now. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, this is no. like some kind of some kind of Everglades swamp people. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, what? Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's better than those Cajun swamp people because those oh, guys are no. dangerous, right? Oh. <laughs> Although I oh. do love their accents. Oh. You remember that that guy? Oh man, we're going back onto the food thing. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say you remember that chef guy? He was like from Louisiana. You know. Nope. Yeah. And he, you know, can put a little more wine, a little more wine. No, I, I, you grew up watching him. I grew up I watching Yen Ken Cook. Yen Ken Cook. <laughs> yeah, no, there was just, he was like Cajun or from Louisiana or something. I don't know, but he had this 
awesome accent. He was always putting more wine, a little more wine, you know, a little pepper. <laughs> it could be so funny. Oh, no, uh, really? Jerry. Oh, <laughs> uh, say, say hello to my little friend, kindness. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, and uh, no. Renee says uh, they're a bit young for Tony Orlando and Dawn. For, um, for the tire uh, red bandana around the yucca tree. Oh, yeah, you know, you think I'm too young for a lot of stuff, but some of my favorite things are from way before you were born. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, you know, <laughs> M- M- Marty Robbins, I love me some Marty Robbins. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, and, and some of my favorite movies are, you know, like Metropolis, love that one. That was the uh, first, uh, you know, police movie and all that stuff. You haven't seen it, it's okay. No, I haven't. Yeah. And not- <laughs> Nosferatu? Yeah. Okay. You see okay. that one? Right? Yes, yeah. yes. So, yeah, they could well, like back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Renee's saying Justin William, or Wilson from uh, Louisiana. Is it, was that his name? I don't remember. That's, I wonder if it is. I have to pull up his picture. Is he Justin Williamson? Justin Wilson. Oh, Justin Wilson. Yeah, I think that might be him. Yep, that's him. Yeah, I guarantee. Yes, that was his catchphrase. Oh, I guarantee. Wow. <laughs> that guy was amazing. Oh, he was awesome. Who, who else watched him? He was so much fun. I didn't. <laughs> but you watched Yen Ken. Yeah, I did. I, mean, I come did. On. Yen Ken. You know, if they were to put a show on like that nowadays, the PC police would be all over that, like oh, white yeah, on yeah, ice men. They'd be like. <laughs> You can't believe you have that. It's a racist. <laughs> Nobody has sense the humor nowadays, man. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, mm-hmm. ca- Carrie's still on the stupid oh, laws. Boy, here we go. She says, here? here's one for the dogs. In Fort Thomas, Kentucky, dogs may not molest cars. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I... Just, nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going down that side. So, of. so we're going to go back to Florida and. Oh yeah, yeah. Colonel. You said you had another. Uh, so, Colonel. oh man. What you got? Florida. It, 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 um, this one. Yeah. I was going to say the you can't just says, leave me hanging here. Oh Florida. Oh just, Florida. Oh Florida. Just. I didn't read the article. I stopped at the headline. I died. What the heck? All right, here's the headline, man. I tell you what, these Florida people got some issues, man. All right, Florida man charged for eating police patrol car seat and cocaine trafficking. He ate a car seat in a patrol car? I think he was gnawing on it. Like I said, I stopped at the headline and went, oh, my oh goodness. no, oh no. Uh, let's see, David says, a guarantee, yeah. And uh, Carrie says, only in Kentucky. <laughs> you stop it with your laws, Missy. Hey, pretty much. <laughs> uh, Dave says, uh, I wanted him a little wine for the food, a little wine for me. This is going to make you slap your mama. Yep, I remember oh, that. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, like, I love that guy. <laughs> he was amazing. You know, and I, and I was, it was funny, too, because... I, when I was younger, I had no idea what the heck gumbo was. So I just, I was just like, oh, it's got to be good because this guy's cooking it. And I found out later in life that it was fish related. And I was like, ew. So, yeah. Don't, don't wanna, and it was very hot and spicy, which I don't it, like it either. It is very, very. So, true gumbo is very <laughs> hot and spicy. Uh, yeah. uh, there is one place I want to, um, at some point in, in our lives, we will... Uh, Visit restaurant wise. Uh, yeah, now we're valley. talking about food again. Poor Carrie hates know. us. Poor at Carrie. This point. I'm not going to describe other than the what the no, nationality no. of the food. I guess you could call it. Um, Papados. Papados. Yeah, Papados down like down joint. in the <laughs> Phoenix area, okay. and it's true Cajun. Oh, okay, so it's it freaking hot. True Cajun. Not everything Cajun is hot. I don't believe you, man. <laughs> you know why they make it hot is because they <laughs> think. That the spice will kill the, all the bacteria. You don't, I mean, it's just, bam, there it is. You put out Why that much spice. They need and they got to drown out the flavor of the mud from the swamps and that oh, stuff, man. Oh, Lord Almighty. What? No. <laughs> I guarantee. Mm. No, no. One of these days, one of these days, uh, we will we will hit up Papa Do's for, for lunch or dinner. Oh, and, no, man. Oh. I do remember you mentioning it at one point, uh, the whole Papa Do's thing, and um, you, we were looking for it, and you couldn't find it. Uh, and no, no, it was it was along the it's along the seventeen. Oh, okay. but it's hidden behind one of the sound walls. Oh, so you got the no. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, but but it is on the pricey side. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, most of their stuff um, is uh, shrimp or lobster based. Shrimp or lobster. So well, I like shrimp good. and I like lobster, but I'm worried because their lobster is probably crawdads from the damn swamp. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's why you gotta what? soak it in hot sauce, get that muddy flavor out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Renee's saying we must all be starving this I, way. I know, right? Uh, and Dave says that that place is not true Cajun, that's Americanized Cajun. Either Ooh. way, it's really freaking You've good. You've been calling out. I Lois. have. I have. Uh, oh, here we go. I have that. Carrie says that in Florida, unmarried woman cannot parachute on Sundays. <laughs> 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 How do you want to know, man? Like I said, it has to make you wonder, what circumstance came about where they actually passed legislation for it? It's like, what the heck? Were they having a rash of women parachuting on Sunday? I don't know. I don't know. That's just wrong. Yeah. yeah or, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm confused on that one. That's yeah, funny. Just, I, I really want to know the history of that one now. I do. That is kind of interesting. It's like, Carrie, Carrie just keeps derailing us from the food. She does. Right? She does. We just keep circling back. <laughs> Renee says, uh, "Need to throw in some uh, some on- some onion. Yeah, <laughs> put some onion. A little and more David, wine." David says, "Excuse me, gumbo is not necessarily um, oh, spicy." Not, uh, well, you know what? He would know. I forgot you're you're down there in Louisiana. Yeah. So you have to you have to tell me exactly what's in it, how it works, and stuff. I just assume. That it was hot and spicy, and it had to, it had the stuff in it, you know. And I, I actually do like crawdads, believe it or not. Though I, I like those. I've actually never had crawdads. They're like little tiny lobsters. I know they are, yeah. but it, I've never had crawdads. Yeah, they're kind of fun. And I, I I remember uh, I used to be terrified of them as a child. <coughs> I go in, we try and catch them out of the reservoir, and they had the little pinchers. So I was, you know, I'd try and reach down and get them, and they go, Arr! and I go. Ah. <laughs> I used to do that. Um, dad, dad took us once. Did he? And it. Once, <laughs> being the operative, <laughs> we didn't I do. Last very I do long. like some fried catfish, though. You know, I don't oh. like. Yeah, fried catfish. Oh, oh. I, I, I it has to be like done right, though. But man, it's. Tasty. I I like I like it catfish. Is. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dave says, "Hey, hey, Chris, don't you cast negative comments on them mud bugs?" <laughs> A little more wine. <laughs> and uh, Renee says, uh, put your glasses on, David. Your fingers can't see what you were typing. <laughs> <laughs> and Gary says, uh, men can't be seen publicly in any kind of strapless gown. All other gowns are acceptable. <laughs> oh, and David's saying mud bugs. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I didn't eat your mud bugs. That's funny. I like that. Oh, Oh, uh, let's see. Carrie says uh, Craw Daddy's restraints are awesome. Restaurants. Oh, restaurants. I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to know what's going on. <laughs> She's going off on some strange tangents over here. Uh, Gina says, uh, I think there should be a law that no one can spit in public. I hate that. There are places actually where it is illegal to spit. Uh, in public. There are many places where it is, but they don't enforce it. So. <laughs> Actually, I, I believe in Arizona, if you are found doing things of that nature with, <laughs> with any type of bod- bodily fluid... Uh-huh. Um, it's a health department thing. Yeah, well, they, no, there's so, actually, like, laws. Like, yeah. You're not allowed, yeah, you, they, yeah. And so they can ticket you. I used to work for a guy that, that um, whose whose son was charged with something along those lines, and, and it was the health department that was doing it. I mean, I can understand, so, like, if you're having some kind of medical crisis, and you got to, uh, you know, right, whatever. Right. A bug flies down your throat, whatever. You know, but there's people that, that's like, that's what they do. Uh-huh. But originally, those laws were actually put out because of tobacco. Because they'd spit everywhere, oh, and it yeah. would cause problems, you know. Yeah. That makes sense. You know, I was like, ah, quit it. <laughs> so, this is the patoon. But yeah, they they do have, you know, they have, they have laws for that There's kind of spittoon, thing. whatever the heck it yeah, was called. there's a spittoon. Yes. Yeah, yeah, huh? Uh, let's see. Uh, Carrie, oh, Carrie says I meant restaurants. Yeah, we know. We're just giving yeah. our time. Uh, and then, let's see. <laughs> Autocorrect should be banned. Oh, <laughs> I don't even want to think about that one. Dave says, okay, Carrie, I got you here. I need to organize a trip to the local roundabout with a few people. There currently is no law I could find that says you can't make multiple trips around a roundabout. Wonder how many times before law enforcement is called out. I don't know. I I think you'd actually be okay as long as you were maintaining the speed limit. What about that big one over in London? Um, Oh, you you get stuck in that thing. Yeah. The the, one by Big Ben, I uh think. (laughs) From like National Lampoon's European uh, yeah. vacation. That's exactly where I put it. It's like 10 lanes wide, so you can't, it's like, ah. <laughs> I've seen it on TV, it must be so. 
Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Uh, Gina oh. says, uh, some just spit all over the. T- yeah, it is gross. Yeah, it, it is, is gross. Yeah. Ew. All right, Ew. guys, that is all the time we have left for today. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing out all these videos. We really do appreciate it. Hopefully, you had a good time. I hope you have an amazing day. Yes. Make it epic out there. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you on the next one. Definitely. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, oh. wine. Oh. All right, who's, who's ready for some Rupert? Oh. Hey, there you go. So, so get, some, get some turtle stew. Who's ready for some Rupert? Oh. I, we wouldn't eat Rupert. Oh. It's a joke. Rupert on your cup, not in your cup. It's okay. We're not going to kill Rupert. He's fine. Bye, everybody. <laughs> 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 <laughs>